Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to save a series of data from edit text field into file share preferences and then display it on the second page in a list view or spinner. So we will start right now. On the first screen, I will just save data from edit text field into file share preferences. For that we have to use an edit text field and the button which will act as save button. Okay and then one more button to move to the second screen. Fine, now let's move to logic area. In logic area, we have to add a file shared preferences component. Now after adding this, in on create, on activity create, add a number variable. Set the number variable to zero. Now after setting this to 0 we have to check if uh, there are already items added to the list. So for that we use forever block and then if else block. Since we will use the number variable as key to save data into file share preferences it will be easy for us to find if the key is empty or not. So we will use an equals block here. And then we will use this file key. The key will be the number variable. So for using a number variable we will convert it to a string and then use the number variable. So here the number variable will act as key. So if file key 0 equals empty, if it is empty, then this forever block will stop. And if it is not empty, then we will use the number, we will increase the number by 1. So this number variable will increase by 1 and then it will again check whether file key 1 is empty or not if it is empty then it will stop otherwise it will again increase by one and in this way we will get a value of this number variable which will be empty key now after this on button one click we will add the contents of edit text field to file for that first we will check if the file is empty or not. So we will again use this block equals and then get the contents of edit text field. If edit text, if the contents of edit text fields are empty, then it should do nothing. And if it is not empty, then we will add it to file. with uh, the number as key. So here we will use this number as key and then set its value as contents of edit text field. So suppose in on create method it the forever block stopped at 7 at number 7 so the value of number is will be 7 and then on button 1 click it will set key 7 to contents of edit text field and after that we have to increase the number by 1 so in this way it will be in this way if we click the button second time it will save the contents of edit text field to a new key 
now after this on button two click we have to move to second page so here add an intent component you can name it anything and then set screen to second page for that we have to add a second page so here just add a second page and on second page use a list view widget now on first page in logic area use intent set screen and then start activity to move to second page so on button two click we will move to second page now on second page we have added a list view and in order to display contents of file in list view we will add a list string list and a number variable okay now in on activity create set the number variable n to 0 and after that use the forever block and then if else block and if one more thing we have to do is we have to use a file shared preferences component with same name as on main activity so here the name is file f so on second page also we have to name it as file f now if we will use the same block equals to check if the file key is empty or not so if the file key n is empty then the forever block will stop if it is empty then we will stop this and if it is not empty then we will add this to list so add this file get data key end to list and after this increase one increase the number by one so in this way all file keys which have been saved on page one will be added to list now in order to display the list in list view we will use this block list view set list view data to list and then list view refresh data that's all now let's check our app Now oh, here let's save a few things search now second one is apple mango banana eggs chicken so we have saved so many items now let's check the second page here you can see all these items search apple in the sequence in which we added them so i hope you understood this thank you very much for watching this video